Hi peeps! Hello again sa inyo. Storytelling time muna tayo. I'm here at the moment in Cook Street. This street is only a few minutes walk from my new place. I actually am in my new place for about two years now. Kaya I am in the process pa rin of discovering the area. It's history and mystery. Then, nalaman ko na may history pala dito na nangyari between 2014 and 2015. A crime committed by Stephen Ford. The man dubbed as the grinder serial killer. Hala. Ito yung street niya. He used to live here. I learned his plot number as well but then I will not mention it to you. Para maprotektahan natin yung new owner. Maybe he doesn't even know na may nangyaring crime sa flat niya. So, I will not mention the number of the flat to maintain their privacy. So, as I've said, Cook Street. Dito na yung nakatira si Stephen Fort before. Ipapasyal ko din kayo sa area na pinagkakitaan ng dalawang bangkay na napatay niya. Ito ay ang St. Margaret Church. Ito na siya. Yung nasa screen natin ngayon. Malapit lang din to sa area ng Cook Street. It is very near to Stephen Fort's place. Stephen Fort managed to lure young guys by sending them His old photo, his younger photo. Hence, these young men are actually meeting him. Once they meet Stephen Ford, unknowingly, Stephen Ford dragged them, spiked their drink with a drug called GHB. Or sometimes they called it rape drug or liquid ecstasy. So once they are drugged, Stephen Fort will control them, will try to rape them, and then unfortunately kill them as well. Imagine that, guys. Nakakatakot, di ba? Kanya kayong mga grinder enthusiasts or mahilig gumamit ng grinder, ingat-ingat kayo dyan. <laughs> Joke lang actually. Pinapatawak lang kayo. Kasi... Medyo nakakatakot yung story about this grinder serial killer. So, eto nga ang grounds ng St. Margaret Church. Papasok tayo ngayon dito. We will try to find out where is that tree na nakita yung dalawang bangkay. Ang apat pala na nabiktima niya, napatay niya because of a drug overdose. Are These people, these young men, Gabriel Kobari, Daniel Whitworth, Anthony Walgate, and Jack Taylor. All of them are in their early 20s. I think the oldest is just 25 years old that time. So, eto na ang entrance ng St. Margaret Church. And eto ang grounds ng St. Margaret Church. Usually, ang mga church here in London or in England... Their grounds are actually with cemetery. So that's why you can see here, there's a lot of tomb. It's cemetery. The ground is cemetery. Actually, it's nice to do a horror film here, isn't it? For Filipinos who are viewing right now, diba? Ganito sa atin sa Pilipinas. Ganito yung mga horror movie. I actually... Do a run here. Actually, if the weather is nice, medyo tumatakbo ko dito eh to do a shortcut. Usually, during summertime, nagjajaga ko dito kasi isyo shortcut to, ko to. Tsaka nga, medyo tahimik nga. But then, I don't know the history about this uh, church before. But even then, kung umaga naman, safe naman dito. Magjajag pa rin ako dito. Magsyo shortcut pa rin ako. At saka marami ng development here. Like at the end of this 
you will see in that at the end of this video may mga building na matataas na building so here we go i think alam ko yung place na pinagdump nung dalawang bangkay nakita actually nung bangkay ni Barbara Denman Barbara Denman was actually walking around this area with her dog when she found out body of Gabriel Kobari and Daniel Whitworth. Pero nakita niya yun, three weeks apart. Imagine that, three weeks apart. So, eto na guys. Malapit na tayo dun sa area. Ayan na, yun nasa dulo. That's the place where I saw in my research ipa-flash ko sa inyo mamaya yung litrato na nakita ko during my research. And this is the area where Barbara Denman found the two young guys. Si Gabriel Kubari nga and Daniel Whitworth. Gabriel Kubari was only 22 years old. I believe he's Slovakian. Tsaka si Daniel Whitworth. Daniel Whitworth was only 21 years old when he died. And this is the picture I found. You can see that that's the shot. So that's the actual site. You can see at the side as well, the tomb. And because it's winter, there's no actual leaves at the moment of that maple tree. So that's the actual area where Barbara Denman found the body of these two young guys, Gabriel Kubari and Daniel Whitworth. So ipapashel ko pa kayo guys dito sa grounds ng St. Margaret Church to see you how scary it is if it's going to be night time here. This place nga pala, St. Margaret Church, is only a few minutes walk from Stephen Port's place. Kanya madali niyang naidump dito yung katawan ng dalawang bata na nabiktima niya. Si Gabriel Kubari and Daniel Whitworth. The other two that he victimized as well is Anthony Walgate and Jack Taylor. So all of them, all the four of them were actually overdosed by GHB and raped by Stephen Ford. That's very unfortunate, di ba? Nakakalungkot. Ayan ang entrance ng St. Margaret Church. Naka-video ngayon. Naka May story din yan, pero I will not tell you the story for now. I will just concentrate on the story of Stephen Ford. At ayan pa ang shot, ang video ng grounds ng St. Margaret Church. So yun ang story. Nakita nyo sa unang part nitong video, yung mga picture na naka-include. That's Stephen Ford, actually. So Stephen Ford, eh matanda na talaga. Panot na siya kalbo. <laughs> Yun ang actual look niya. The other picture are old picture of him when he was young. So, kwentuhan ulit tayo sa susunod. And see you again. Bye-bye.